สวัสดีครับ I'm JP Mistanza and it's Friday April 26 I was busy getting married and getting a new shirt It's good to be back Let's get to the news A tattoo artist who raped a 13 year old girl in Bangkok has been arrested in Phuket The girl was later forced to undergo a hysterectomy as a result of the physical harm done during the assault The 25 year old tattoo artist named by Metropolitan Police from Bangkok only as Wasin or Game was arrested at a rented room on m a i l o a n Road in Phuket Town under an arrest warrant issued by the t o n b u r i Criminal Court on April 11. Bangkok police tracked down the suspect by his online name after he contacted a 13-year-old girl via Facebook and convinced her into getting a small tattoo for 400 baht. But police say that once he had her in the shop, he raped her. After a police report was filed, w a s i n was summoned to present himself to authorities, but he fled to Phuket. He now faces charges of taking a child under 15 years old for indecent purposes. The statement issued by Bangkok Metropolitan Police noted that w a s i n had previously been prosecuted for taking away minors at Takam Police Station in Bangkok back in 2016. That case was settled with a payment of 70,000 baht compensation. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. While addressing the 2024 annual general meeting of the Phuket Chamber of Commerce, The, this week, the Phuket governor, Sopon Suwanarat, voiced his support for Phuket to be given special administrative status. The proposal to transition Phuket to a special administrative status represents a paradigm shift in the province's governance structure, with potential implications for its economic growth and development trajectory. The event, attended by key figures including PCC President Kongsak Kupongsakon, Phuket Provincial Administrative Organization President Rewat a r i r o p and other prominent local leaders at the Phuket Merlin Hotel on Thursday marked a significant moment in Phuket's political landscape. As Governor of Phuket, Mr. Sopon is a Bangkok-appointed official. In advocating for a shift in governance, Governor Sopon highlighted the pressing need for Phuket to access greater fiscal autonomy. Currently constrained by a limited budget, he argued that the province's development potential is stifled. Drawing parallels with the administrative structures of Pattaya and Bangkok, he proposed a reform model whereby Phuket could assume greater control over taxation and budget allocation. The governor also announced significant infrastructure projects aimed at addressing pressing challenges facing the island. These included the construction of four additional traffic routes, as reviewed by Prime Minister s e r t a t a w i s i n last Friday, as well as initiatives to expand traffic lanes and improve water infrastructure. Including tapping into water resources from the Chao Lan Lake in Suratani to mitigate long standing water shortages. However, no further details of how and when water supply from Chao Lan Lake were provided. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. The recent heat wave in Thailand has hit the country hard, so much so that the government is confirming that at least 30 people have died of heat stroke this year, especially in the capital, where temperatures have risen above 40 degrees Celsius. Or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The health ministry said late Wednesday that 30 people had died from heat stroke between January 1st and April 17th, compared with 37 in the whole of 2023. The Thai capital hit just above 40 degrees Celsius on Wednesday, with Phuket hitting similar levels over the past two weeks, though the humidity has pushed the feels like levels to above 40 degrees Celsius on the island. The whole thing has prompted Thai officials to issue another severe weather alert. And a warning for people to stay hydrated and keep cool wherever they can, as well as for elderly people and those with underlying medical conditions, including obesity, to stay indoors. The El Nino weather pattern has exacerbated the usual heat during the April month here in Thailand and elsewhere in Southeast Asia. The conditions have sent temperatures soaring, with the northern province of Lampang on Monday recording a temperature of 44.2 degrees Celsius, just shy of the all time record. Of 44.6 Celsius hit last year. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Problems with an electrical control box on Soi Pan Yang is being blamed for a fire that took place this morning in northern Phuket town just before 1 a.m. 
Firefighters from the Phuket City Municipality put out the blaze in Samkong at about 1 a.m. this morning. The fire trucks arrived to find a jumble of power cables outside an ice cream shop on fire. Luckily, no one was hurt in the blaze and there was no damage from the blaze. But firefighters say that the blaze appeared to start from an electrical control box which was slightly damaged. People living in the Phuket City Municipality area are urged to report any such fires as quickly as possible to prevent damage to property or risk to people by calling the number on your screen or the hotline 199, which is open 24 hours, 7 days a week. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Kamala Beach was the site of this year's Anzac Dawn Day services in Phuket, which took place on Thursday with over 120 people in attendance for a very moving remembrance, lest we forget. Anzac Day is a national day of remembrance in Australia and New Zealand that broadly commemorates all Australians and New Zealanders who served and died in all wars, conflicts, and peacekeeping operations, and the contribution and suffering of all those who have served. More recently, the annual event commemorated at locations around the world, remembers all those who have fallen in military conflict. Over 120 people attended the dawn service on Thursday on Kamala Beach for the moving service. We really appreciate you joining us this week and today here on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. I'd like to give a special thank you to the team behind the camera and in front of the camera who replaced me throughout my time away. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much to Chris Housen and the team. And we'll be back on Monday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.